Quick reminder to you all that we are doing a Rebel Clash ETP giveaway this week. So if you haven't checked out Monday's video, I'll put a link down below and make sure you do enter. We'll announce the winner on Friday. Best of luck. What's up? I'm Wanda Turtle and today we're going to be uh, another Pokemon episode. This is going to be part two of a three part series about whether or not we think the Pokemon TCG is kind of like in a bubble right now. The first part we talked about some insane price cre increases that even looking at some of the cards I picked up like two years ago and how they've like two three up to like 10x over the past two years. Uh, if you haven't seen that I recommend you check it out and today we're going to be talking about the probably the worst purchase I've ever made on a single card in my collection and we'll kind of loop that back into whether or not we're, this is gonna be a bubble about like how we think we'll approach that situation theme of this at the end of the day like I do think that prices are going to go down after some time but I don't think to the degree of to call it a bubble and the reason that is basically like a collector's mindset and we'll kind of use this card as an example so without further ado let's reveal what this card is so it is a BGS, it does have like the gold plate, so it is like a 9.5 or better. And you can probably guess what it is, especially given the context. It is a shiny Charizard 9.5. So it wasn't the black label, I'm not the person that spent 10 grand on the card for that pristine 10, but we did pick up a 9.5. And uh, yeah, just to add it to our collection, but the timing was pretty bad. Let's actually go to PokemonPrice.com to take a look at some information. So this site mainly covers PSA, or no, it only covers PSA. So it's not exactly apples to apples, but just to demonstrate my point, here is kind of like the prices of Chinese Charizard, how he's performed on PSA, and it kind of like from the beginning started ridiculously high and just kept plummeting to its bottom, and now it's picked up quite a bit. Uh, making up quite a bit of ground from its initial plummet. Definitely nowhere near the initial prices, but that makes sense and so the problem with this purchase of this car this uh gem mint 9.5 gem uh, shiny charizard was that i picked it up pretty early on somewhere in the middle of this downward trend and it just continues to go down kind of like that that fast falling you know we picked it up during that time and uh you know in hindsight it was very silly because it was super predictable that this guy is going to continue to drop and eventually bottom out but you know we probably weren't close to that point so we definitely paid more than we had to if we waited like a month you know we probably saved quite a bit uh, so now let's kind of move it back to like all right are things in a bubble what would i do with this card given the three different possible scenarios of like con prices continue to go up somehow let's say prices stay about even just kind of creates that you know a new status quo for the price of these cards or in the event of like some kind of bubble like things were to plummet or decrease in general so scenario number one the prices continue to go up you know i bought this card again back to the theme of all right well i'm a collector i'm not a flipper i'm not an investor that's not why i'm in this hobby it's just because i really enjoy these cards i have passion for it and i just enjoy having them in my collection so of those three scenarios prices go up keep going up probably not going to sell just going to stay in my collection because that's why i bought it to have in my collection not to sell it again for some you know in this scenario not huge gains which at this point, like I can't imagine prices continue to go too much higher just the, given the insane spikes that already happened. Let's say prices stay the same. So it's not a bubble, but this, you know, this sudden influx of people into the hobby levels off and things just stay, you know, where they are right now. Same situation. Probably just leave it in my collection. Again, wasn't looking to sell to begin with. That's how I picked up. And then the last thing there, if prices go back down and it's kind of like, all right, this bad purchase just keeps getting worse doesn't matter like once again it's just going to stay in my collection uh at this point that card even though it's a shiny charizard i love shiny charizard uh to be honest in a way this card is kind of like a, a scar that reminds me of like if i ever feel like oh i want to jump on this hype bandwagon and purchase this card like well this card is a new card it's a modern card this thing's going to be printed into oblivion um wait for it to bottom out it's definitely that's that general trend will always happen for new cards and so that's remind that's this card also just serves as a constant reminder of that fact 
All right, then now to loop it back to this idea that, you know, this collector's mindset, I don't think I'm alone in this, uh, where, you know, people that will spend, you know, a significant amount of money in the hobby, it's because they want the card. Yes, they are hoping that the price goes up as opposed to down, but, you know, it would need to go significantly higher in order to sell, you know, just let alone eBay and PayPal fees. It's like 12% <clears throat> that you just instantly lose. We'll take some of the Charizards that I picked up in 2018, for example. They've what, are five plus X in price. And yeah, I did post only two of them of the many that I have uh, at a ridiculously high price thinking, you know what, I don't really wanna sell these, so I'll put it even higher than it's going for right now. And ultimately, if it doesn't sell, like I am 100% fine with that. But if it does sell, I won't have any regrets because I put it at an absurdly high price, you know, by can't recommend it to anyone it's way too high of a price um and i think i'm not alone i think most collectors will kind of have that mindset not everyone obviously yes there probably are some flippers slash investors and like if prices prices drop all of a sudden especially sharply yes maybe some of them will abandon ship and just take the hit but i imagine that a lot of people just have a collector's mindset you know i picked this card up to have in my collection yes they probably picked it up at a bad time when the prices are spiking so hard but that doesn't mean that they'll sell it. So that's what my thoughts are on the, the base, the overall situation. And uh, actually in part three, which will come out in the near future, we'll kind of talk about like, all right, given, given the landscape and what my current thoughts are about how prices will be in the future, what are we doing? What are we working on? Um, in what, what cards are we picking up in the meantime? Uh, so I hope this was helpful. And anyway, guys, let me know what your thoughts are in a comment down below. Thanks for watching. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.